Hey guys, so I wanted to come on here and give you a newborn essentials stuff that really helped me through the first couple months. I'm my little guy back there. He is four months old now and I feel like I've kind of narrowed it down to the stuff that works versus the stuff that didn't really work that well. Um, so in this video I'm just going to show you the stuff that did work, that I swear by, that really helped. My baby was super colicky in the first three months I want to say. He just finally started getting more comfortable, you know, hanging out by himself before he was comfort nursing. He wanted to be with me all the time, he wanted me to hold him all the time and it was really exhausting. But now we're to the point where he's okay being alone or like being... He still has to see me all the time, of course, but he's okay laying there while I, say, film a video or something. So I'm going to show you the stuff that really helped me with the first couple months because they were rough. If you have a colicky baby, you know how rough they are. So the first thing is gripe water. And there's a whole bunch of different kinds of gripe water. I personally like the Little Remedies one more than the Mommy's Bliss just because this one had no alcohol, sodium bicarbonate, or artificial colors. So this is for all ages too and this one's for two weeks up. So gripe water, I do not know what is in this stuff but it works like if you have a super fussy baby super colicky he was very gassy in the beginning as well like he it felt like he couldn't pass a bowel movement or he couldn't like get gas out or anything so I was constantly just running his legs trying to get the gas bubbles out but this stuff really does work it has ginger root extract and fennel seed extract I don't know what it does but if he starts getting fussy like when I know he's tired or something if I give him a little squirt of this he's out or if he has gas or feels constipated it just eases him it makes him feel so much better so much happier like if you guys are looking back there and being like girl what are you talking about your baby looks like a great baby it's because I literally just gave him a little squirt of this because he was being super fussy like 10 minutes ago the only thing I have to add is that this says 5 milliliters for a baby his age and this right here is only 3 milliliters so they want you to give him 5. I personally only give him 1 which is like right to there. I only give him 1 milliliter and even then he doesn't really need all of that so you don't need to give them 5. Like 1 will do and then if like they need more or they're still being fussy you can give them a little bit more but I wouldn't go and give them 5 because that just seems like way too much to me. Another thing with colicky babies, I was doing some research and it, it was like nothing I did would make him happy. Like he was so upset. I felt like his tummy was so upset and I'm breastfeeding as well. So I was looking online and everyone swore by Gerber Soothe. And so I was looking up Gerber Soothe and I'm like, that stuff's expensive. Like... I forget what it was, but I compared it to this, which they have the same exact probiotic in it. But I was looking at Gerber Soothe prices and I was like, uh, this stuff may work, but that is way too expensive. I'm sorry. And I was about to buy it, but I was like, let me see if there's any other infant probiotics that are the same thing. So I found this brand and you just give them five drops a day. I'll link everything down below too. So I started giving him this and I gave him five drops a day and I kind of just tried to drop it in his mouth but as he got older it got more difficult and now I'm off of these but this did help a lot. It was like night and day. Once I got him on these, he started pooping every day at pretty much the same exact time and it didn't seem as hard for him to pass bowel movements and he was also a lot happier. He wasn't crying all the time, he wasn't screaming all the time, he felt more content. So I swear by probiotics, if you have a super colicky baby, it could be because their stomachs aren't fully developed. And when, by giving him probiotics, you're actually putting those good bacteria in his tummy to help it like create more good bacteria so then he can digest the milk better and pass bowel movements. So by giving him these, it was a lifesaver. I noticed if I missed a day that he would get crabby again, screaming again. It was just a disaster. So if you have a super colicky baby, look into giving them this. And this stuff is way cheaper than Gerber Soothe and you get twice the amount. Another thing that I swear by is this lotion. <laughs> For the first like two months, anytime I gave him a bath or took him out of the bath, he would scream bloody murder. And I'm pretty sure it's because he was cold, which is expected. 
but as soon as I would rub him down with this lotion, I don't know, it must be the lavender in here, he would instant, like it was instantaneously, he would just like calm down, like he would stop crying, he would be calm, relaxed, and then after this I would just put him to bed. So this is the Nourishing Lotion Calming, and it's 98.9% .9 natural by Burt's Bees. This stuff is the bomb. And this is like the most important newborn essentials ever. So for the first month of his life, going on to like two months, the kid would not take a binky. And I know some people are like, don't give him a binky, exclusively breastfeed him. But I'm sorry, I cannot be a human pacifier. I was the entire first month a pacifier for him. As soon as he latched off on my boob, he would scream falls asleep nursing which is another no-no apparently but you gotta do what you gotta do to keep your kid from screaming that's just that he would fall asleep on the boob if I took the boob out and tried to let's say use the restroom wake up screaming like he had to be on me all the time 24 7 for the first month and that's where binkies come in because they have that comfort of sucking and having something there but it's not your boob it's not you physically you can't be couch locked not being able to do literally anything because your kid is comfort nursing and wants to be on you all the time. And this is different from cluster feeding, so don't be like, he's cluster feeding, you need to feed him all the time. The kid was not hungry because you can tell when they're eating versus when they're comfort nursing, and he was comfort nursing. So I tried giving him these. These are the Dr. Scholl's um, binkies, and he hated these. Also, these ones hated these. And I've kind of found a pattern because I was talking to my neighbor who also has a baby around the same age as him and I saw her at like two months maybe because she was walking him around the neighborhood and I was like, how's it going? And she's like, she noticed that he had a binky in his mouth and she's like, oh, my baby will not take a binky. He hates them. Like, it must be a thing with breastfed babies. And I was like, mine too. For the first month, he hated binkies. If I tried putting one of these things in there and like you can see the nipples. If I tried putting one of these things in his mouth, he would flip out, go haywire. He hated these. And I was like, what is the deal? I was trying different ones. I was seeing which one he liked. If your baby is breastfed and he will not take a binky, I strongly, strongly recommend you trying a different brand. And the MAM ones, these MAM ones, he loves. These are the only binkies he will take. He knows when it's not this kind and that's a huge breakthrough for me because after like a month and a half, popped one of these in his mouth. Of course he didn't really like it that much at first, but he took to it and now he loves his binky. He's sleeping with one in his mouth right now. This is a lifesaver. Another thing that got me through was this stuff. He hasn't had diaper rash at all. I'm pretty up on knowing when he poops or pees and changing his diaper, so he doesn't get diaper rash at all anymore. But in the beginning he did, and I think it's just because his body was kind of sensitive to even poop or pee. But this stuff worked. I usually only needed to apply it once, and then by the next day it was cleared up. So The next thing I cannot leave the house without is this Germ X Wipes. You can get these at Costco. I got like a big box of them for I think like 10 bucks or something. But when you go to use the restroom and you have to change their diaper, which just when you have a newborn baby, you're kind of a germaphobe. As they get older, you're kind of like, eh, whatever. But when they're new, freshly born and like let's say they have a blowout or whatever the case may be, because I know for me personally, I did not want to take him into a restroom. Like I would change him wherever but besides the public restroom. Like that was a last resort. But sometimes you got to do what you got to do. And this stuff just puts your mind at ease. It's just antibacterial wipes. You can use any brand. Clearly you don't have to use these ones but just to wipe down the changing table and anything they may touch around it puts your mind at so much ease they smell good and they're gentle formula for like little kid hands they say so I love these things and whenever I look at my diaper bag if they're not in there I'm like <gasps> crap another thing that saved my nights are overnight diapers it seemed like he was running through his diapers, leaking through in the middle of the night because he pees so much at night because I feed him all throughout the night. I'm still breastfeeding. So the overnight ones have helped a lot. 
My baby is only four months old and he's in size three diapers and nine month clothes. Like he is a big boy. I use Honest Company. You can use whatever brand of diapers you want, but I would definitely invest in overnight diapers. They make a huge difference huge and then let's move on to the stuff that didn't really work for me don't waste your money on nursing butter cream whatever you want to call it I felt like the first couple weeks of me breastfeeding my nipples were cracked dry hurt like my t-shirt rubbing against them hurt and this stuff felt like it just sat on top it's like when you have a new tattoo and they tell you to put aquaphor on it and that stuff does not sink in it literally sits on top really doesn't do anything the secret to having soft nipples and make them feel better and not be so dry and not so cracked is to squeeze a little bit of milk out and rub them on your nipples like constantly like after you feed him just whenever you want pretty much the more the better and that actually like fix my nipples within a day like just putting your own milk on them really hydrates them and makes them smooth and takes away some of the pain with breastfeeding for the first couple weeks another thing that kind of works but not really is these gas drops he was super gassy like i said in the beginning and these seem to kind of like not really do anything the gripe water definitely helped a lot more so I would just skip on these. I would do gripe water because that stuff is a miracle worker. And yeah, that's pretty much all my newborn essentials. These are just things that I swear by. And then those last two things are kind of, eh, you don't really need it. So don't waste your money on it. But as you can see, he's passed out and that's thanks to gripe water. <laughs> so I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching.